Let's face it, getting over your ex is one of the great challenges of manhood. And no matter what anyone tells you, it never gets any easier as you get older. The process is rarely a quick and easy one, and is often complicated by all the things that the two of you still have in common, like friends, pets, favorite hangouts, or even a shared apartment. God forbid if you actually work together or have to share classes post-breakup. Perhaps the most frustrating thing about the whole process is that even if ending the relationship was the right thing to do, even if she cheated on you and stole your dog, it can still be hard to bury all the good memories and move on with your life. Finding your way back to happiness can be tricky, and if your relationship was particularly long, then it might seem pretty much impossible to even remember what life was like before her. Well, with that in mind, we've put together a foolproof list of nine tips that'll get you back in the game and over your ex. Follow this program from start to finish, and you'll be back to your old self in no time. Step number nine in helping you get over your ex is to get off your ass and hook up with somebody else. It might seem super obvious, but lots of guys don't seem to get that to get over someone, it helps to get under someone else. Now, it might not be the healthiest long-term goal, but in the short term, it'll definitely help you take your mind off of your ex. This can be a tricky thing to navigate, though, and it's definitely advised to make sure you make it clear to a new partner that you are looking for a no-strings-attached liaison. Hooking up with someone new is super effective in helping get your ex out of your system and off of your mind mostly due to the reason why most guys have difficulty in leaving an ex behind. It boils down to guys, no matter how confident they are, being worried they won't find somebody new. That's what sends them crawling back to those familiar, comfortable, dysfunctional, old relationships time and time again. Finding a new love interest, even for one night, can remind you that you're not destined to be lonely forever. The number eight spot on our top nine list of the ultimate tips to get you over your ex is to remember to exercise your newfound freedoms. The truth about relationships is that they are all about compromise. Chances are that if you've been in a relationship for a while, you're pretty used to no longer getting your own way. Weekends spent on Ikea or antique shopping trips, visits to her family for dinner, missing nights out with your friends, all comes with the territory of being in a relationship. But, now that you're single, you're suddenly free to do whatever the heck you want! Oh, within the bounds of the law, of course. So, stay out until 4 in the morning, hop on a plane to Vegas with your brother, make breakfast for dinner, eat ice cream before the real meal, or just sit on your ass and watch basketball all day. Taking pleasure in all of those things that you refrain from during your time as a boyfriend can be a great way to get over your ex. At number seven in our top nine roundup of the best ways to get over your ex is to take plenty of time to look back and remember all the bad times. Let's take a step back and admit that it's pretty common for guys to go way overboard in idealizing their exes following a breakup. Picture the scene. You'll just be going about your business and then suddenly you'll remember an inside joke the two of you shared. Then you'll grin, thinking about a cute personality quirk she had, and before long you're fantasizing about how you want to get her back. That's when you have to get a reality check. One of the most important tips for getting over your ex is to focus on the bad times and not the good. That's not to say you should completely forget about the good times, but rather wait until you've moved on fully to look back at them. By focusing on the fights and problems you had in your past relationship, you can stop yourself from mythologizing it and force you to keep it in perspective. Swinging into number six on our top nine list of the best ways to get over your ex is to take a break from being all sad and mopey and instead hang out with your friends. It's a commonly heard complaint from a lot of guys who find themselves in new relationships that they don't get any time to hang out with their friends. It's just one of the many sacrifices you have to make when you start dating someone. Relationships suck away all your time, as being with the person you're closest to tends to take priority over catching up with your buddies. But now that you are single, you can reconnect with everyone you've not been in touch with. Not only will it be fun, but it'll also be therapeutic, because hanging out with your friends is one of the most rewarding of our tips for getting over your ex. Stepping into number five on our top nine tips for getting over your ex is knowing when to cut your losses and stop trying to get all your stuff back from her. We've all been there, where we completely forget our favorite hoodie or CD back at her place and try calling and texting her to get stuff back, but she always seems busy. Consider it a blessing in disguise, because after all, you can never have a relationship relapse with your ex if you never let yourself see her again. Everything you left at her place is gone. 
Just accept it and move on. Remember, no hoodie, no matter how soft, is worth running into an X for. Save yourself the headache. After all, stuff can always be replaced. The number four spot on our top nine list of tips on how to get over your ex is about taking care of yourself physically by hitting the gym. Similar to our tip about how you should spend your newly acquired free time catching up with old buddies, you can also spend your time working on yourself. The amount of time you actually will find yourself with after a breakup is surprising. And not only is exercise a great use of your time, but it'll also help you stop feeling sad about the breakup. Getting in shape is a fantastic way to boost your self-esteem, and physical exertion works wonders to take your mind off of the breakup, as well as giving you a way to vent any frustration you might be feeling. Exercise releases endorphins that make you feel happier, and the physical improvements you'll see in your post-breakup body will make you more confident about getting out there and meeting somebody new. Next up at number three on our top nine roundup of guaranteed ways to get over your ex is not to contact her at all, ever. Just don't. This is probably one of the most crucial tips in our list and one that is rarely actually followed. The only way to do it properly is to cut her off entirely. Go cold turkey. Once you've been in a relationship with someone, you unknowingly become dependent on them and their presence in your life. Understandably, once a breakup occurs, your natural reaction will probably be to keep talking to them about everything that's going on in your life. That makes cutting them off entirely really difficult for most guys. Yeah, I mean, you probably promised her that you guys would always stay friends, but odds are that just won't happen. Sure, in the long term it's possible, but right now you need to worry more about your emotional well-being than hers. By staying in touch with old flames, you're asking for months, if not years, of on-again, off-again uncertainty. So throw out her phone number, stop texting her, and unfriend her on Facebook. Imagine how freaked out you'll be the first time you see a strange dude in her profile picture, and you'll see why a clean break is essential. Sliding into number two in our comprehensive list of ways to help get you over your ex is all about getting closure. But boy, is it hard to get sometimes. Depending on how the breakup goes down, who initiates it, and the reason for it. Heck, if you were dumped, sometimes it can be nigh on impossible to get her to tell you the real reason. If you're the one doing the breakup though, then make sure you don't put it off. It's unfair to both her and to you. It's smart to make sure you're both on the same page. Communicate clearly that this is a breakup and not a break. This means that the two of you will have to move on from each other. With that comes the probability of you both starting to see other people. If you feel you need to ask any questions about your relationship, analyze why it didn't work out, then do it now and do it quickly. After all, if you're doing your breakup correctly, you'll not be seeing her anytime again soon. The final tip in our top nine roundup of the best ways to get over your ex is to take her off of that damn pedestal you had her placed on while you were dating. Seriously, this one cannot be stated enough. It's a bad enough habit guys have when they're currently dating someone, but the effects are magnified post breakup to make you feel extra shitty. So how do you get her off that pedestal? Well, first things first, stop acting like your ex was God's gift to mankind. She was not perfect, nobody is. If you're honest with yourself, you'd probably realize that she had her own flaws. Sometimes when dealing with heartbreak from a breakup, it can help to make a list of her annoying traits. Everything that used to bug you about her. It could be the way she slurped her soup or hot drinks or the way she always seemed to put you down. Do whatever you have to do. Just make sure you take her off of that pedestal and recognize her for what she was. A flawed person just like you. 